Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Um, I got a simple pattern here for you. Um, this is what's called the crusted scud. Uh, basic scud pattern, very hairy, very bottom heavy. Um, what's different here? <laughs> Something that uh, I was just messing around with and uh, yeah, said why not. So, um, what we have here on the top is some glitter. And uh, I'll show you a little trick on that. It uh, doesn't provide a lot of flash, but it certainly looks neat in the water. And uh, I'm starting to mess around with some of these things. And uh, you know, if you come across some of your daughter's crafts, they always have glitter. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you how this works here. Um, this is an Orvis 1POR, size 12. The weighting system that I have on here is um, a fire hole gimmick. I don't know what else to call it. Um, essentially, they had a weighting system that you could buy a body, a little nipple type bead that goes into the back of a regular bead, uh, but only a regular bead. I, it doesn't go into the back of a slotted bead. So I ended up buying these things and got stuck with them because I'm not gonna go out and buy, you know, more beads that are just normal for this to work. Um, for one, but for two, once I started tying these up, um, it is nice to have a lot of weight on it, but it creates a situation where you don't have any room. You know, essentially, uh, you're not gonna compress tungsten, so when you put, uh, you know, your dubbing or whatever material on there, um, you know, it gets pretty bulky, and uh, you can kind of tell by this. This is a size 12, um, and uh, the equivalent weight of this system is about a four and a half millimeter bead, so it is heavy as heck, and uh, it certainly gets down almost uh, a little too much, so I'm gonna be trying to use these in some heavy water, and uh, yeah, see, see what I can do. I had it in the water yesterday, and uh, yeah, it gave it just enough sparkle on the top there to kind of look like a shell back in the water, and you could see it pretty deep or pretty far away. I mean, at least three feet deep, I could tell, you know, that you could see the color on it. The water was perfect yesterday, so that, that might explain it. So, other ingredients, or the only ingredients that we have here, uh, ice dub. This is a pheasant tail, some hair's ear black in here, uh, mixed in with um, fulling mill. This is like their rabbit here. They call it Euro Nymph Flash Dub light hair's ear UV. It just has a little bit of plastic in it, uh, a little bit of shine. So we twist all that up, put it all together into this mess, and uh, we start tying our hook on, or tying our material on. I'll show you what we got here. What this bead looks like. The thread that we're using is uh, just Semperfly Nano Silk, 12 watt. You can see the big gap that, or a big shelf that this leads up into here. Uh, and that's kind of where the problems begin with this system. So I don't want to take this too far down into the hook gap. Because um, like I said, it gets pretty bulky up at the top and you want to try to preserve that as as best you can. So when we're putting this on here, very light, and we're gonna be trying to fill up this gap um, on a normal pattern. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you can just put, you know, a three millimeter bead or whatever bead you want on the front of this, you know, to get the weight that you want. And all of this will still apply. So um, we're gonna spin on our Dubbing here. Just try to fill in the back of this first. 
All I'm doing is just coating the hook, trying to build up to that shelf. Once you get to that point, you can start to move forward, trying to avoid, you know, a noticeable bump. And also, when you're putting, if you are, happen to use some of these fire hole products, try to keep your dubbing noodle as thin as possible because like I said you can't compress this tungsten and I am just putting on here like touching wraps to get the whole way up to the top of the bead here but you don't want to go past this little bead here you need to preserve a little bit of space in this little gap here Just enough room in there for you to like tie off uh, your string in and it'll keep it secure. Okay. Oh, jeez. Basic hair's ear pattern, waltz worm pattern. All we're doing is putting dubbing on the hook. Get your brush. Pull this out down on both sides. We want the back exposed. Almost like you're parting your hair in the middle. We want the majority of the material underneath. So down and back, kind of looks like Cousin It. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, now that that's like split down the middle there, all kinds of crazy fibers everywhere. Try to get them in the place that you want because we're gonna put some UV on the back of this. Okay. So, you're gonna need your UV. The other thing you're gonna need is some glitter. Okay, I bought this pack. Um, because it was fluorescent and it had a lot of, uh, I don't know, the texture of the actual glitter is more square. So when you put it on there, I've seen round, I've seen, you know, other different shapes, but this one really looks like a crusted up diamond. Um, and essentially, you wanna make sure that when you use this, you have a tray of some sorts underneath use like a little paper plate <laughs> um, because glitter gets everywhere if you have daughters and uh, you don't know that then consider it friendly advice and what we're gonna do is put a thin strip of this right up the back and then a little bit heavier once we get closer to the bead now you could not use glitter and you can see how it's already darkened that up you know it looks uh looks real nice so all we're going to do is just tap some of this on here okay turn it upside down give a little pop there and that's kind of what it looks like on the top so we're gonna cook that. Doesn't matter if it's ugly. It's supposed to be ugly. And when you hit this, you can kind of see all of the different colors and stuff you're getting out of, you know, these crystals. Okay, that's the finished product there. And we're just going to 
Try to thin this out a little bit so we don't have a lot of material blocking that hook point. There you go, boys and girls. The crusted scud. Cousin it's evil cousin. Try some up, change the weight change the color, um, you know, of the glitter that you want. I got all kinds of different things here. I'm probably gonna end up trying on these. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go catch some fish. All right guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again soon.